Okay, so there's a couple of different ways that you can go about this. And the first one, of course, is just directly typing the style sheet code into the HTML. You'll always have it in the head area. So I'll start typing that in. You'll notice when I was typing that in, a little browse button popped up. That's kind of handy. Say you can't quite remember exactly how you spelled your style sheet, you can click Browse and then navigate it into it in your file structure. Keep in mind though that you don't really want folders within folders within folders. That can be kind of problematic. So as I click away, we see that, aha, the style sheet has worked. Excellent. So I'm actually going to delete that and show you a different method for attaining the style sheet. It's still going to link it up here. What I'm actually going to do is go over to the CSS Styles tab. Now yours may look a little different. I've set mine up for a workflow that works for me. But down here, under the Properties, there's a series of buttons. And these allow you to attach a style sheet, make a new one, a new rule rather, and uh, delete a style sheet or a rule. So I'm going to say Attach Style Sheet. Click the Browse button, and then I can go directly to it. Point of note though, you can actually hit preview and see what it looks like ahead of time. So maybe you don't have the right one, well okay, you can find out. So I click OK and there we have it.